You know, when you go to the grocery store, those prices are still pretty high. We all are, of course, living with the effects of inflation and especially, well, local tamale vendors. Ashley Gonzalez caught up with a few of those local favorites and shares some of the struggles that they're facing as they prepare for a busy tamale season. Tamale season in Corpus Christi is year round, but business really picks up during the holidays, which is right around the corner, which couldn't be more convenient because the cost of making tamales has skyrocketed. Just the maseca, for example, used to be 20, $27 a bag, and right now it's 41. Mm -hmm. wow. And the oil as well. It used to be $28 a jug, and now it's 42. Just down the road to the valley, or San Antonio, some tamale ingredients are cheaper. But going to get them still means spending money. Y decimos que más baratos, pero no, porque ahí tenemos un día de trabajo, perdemos el gas. As a last resort, some places raised the price of their tamales. For Huerta, that was a hard pill to swallow. Viene un cliente, hey, pues ahora cuesta un dólar más. Y es, es difícil decirlo para mí. No, no, no es tan fácil este, decirle a la gente. Que ya costan más, pero tenemos que hacerlo. The colder days ahead will welcome the start of a busy tamale season. And those are the days Granny's and Huerta's tamales look forward to the most. Y le damos gracias, gracias y que sigan viniendo para ayudarnos también nosotros. And not only for the deliciousness, but the culture, too. We've been in business for 26 years, and we hope to continue with the support of Corpus Christi. But the tradition is still the tradition. And whether you're making tamales at home or you're buying them from us, we just hope that you share that with your family. Both Granny's and Huerta's are open year-round. Ashley Gonzalez, 3 News. Thank you, Ashley.